hundreds of sick GIs. And live look in St. Peter's. Traffic moving along very smoothly on this Tuesday. Cold outside, 48 degrees, 848 is the time. You know, folks, ever since Fox 2 News at 9 started, you, you've had a roving camera with Timmy Zell throughout our building. You've seen what a mess it is. I mean, this is a time for spring cleaning, and we're going to get it done. We've got the best guy in the entire nation right here. In fact, he came up years ago from down under. It's Peter Walsh. Peter. How you doing, John? Nice Gra to meet Gra you. Great to be in St. Louis. Yeah, you might know him from Oprah's show. In fact, he's got a show starting on the new O Network in, in January. That's How right. about that? Very cool. It's, it's, it's actually amazingly exciting. The whole network's launching in the new year, so... Um, Stick around for it. I got to tell you, this hallway has never looked better. Well, it's uh, it's a little tight, but I think one of the whole things we're talking about today is home offices and and staying Look organized. And I think a lot of people have a really, a real issue with space at home. So I think you know being in the tight hallway actually is uh, fairly typical for most homes. I think the key here is use the wall. Well, vertical space. A lot of people forget that that you have horizontal space obviously on the desktop, but by pushing up the wall. It makes a massive difference. I've, I've actually designed this system myself, and one of the things is one, all the boards will mix and match, and there's a real versatility Look here. That. As is that well. a magnet? Everything is magnetized Check in this that system. Out. So whether it's the uh, the pin boards or anything else, it enables you basically to use the wall and also no longer lose things like checkbooks, pens, keys, anything like that. You can even throw the kids' photos up on here as well in these frames. Straight away it uses the vertical space and actually maximizes the use of the office. Everything in its place. The, your mother would be proud. That's what mom used to say, in fact. All right, what do you call this system and where do you get it? It's called You Organized okay. and it's at Office Max. And I think the whole concept is one that, uh, that you create basically zones for all the stuff that you use. Here we have an area to store paper. Here we have a charging station for all of your MP3 players, your phones, anything like that. And finally here is a caddy for all of your mail or anything like that. So you can take this anywhere you want in the house. And on top of that, versatility, this looks like a seat, yeah. but actually there is file storage oh. here and a laptop tray here as well. Get out of here. So yeah, it basically is just, uh, just a way of using space well and of making sure that you're more efficient and effective at home. How did you become so efficient? Your mum taught you well. <laughs> My mum taught me well. Moms and then later wives will do the same thing to you. Well, you know, it's just that I think that, that particularly with home office staff, people end up with paper all over the place. They end up just completely losing their minds. Mm -hmm. And if you have little kids at home, if you're running a home business, choosing the right furniture will really help you become way more efficient and way more effective, whether it's a soccer mom or someone running a new business. And oftentimes this is learned behavior. So if you start with the kids when they're really little, you know, with something like this, they will carry that into adulthood. Well, what it says to the kids is, I think that workspace is important, and I think that dedicating an area at home to my workspace is absolutely important, and that sends a great message. All right, this is where I put Peter Walsh on the spot. Oh, uh, yeah. Who is uh, a better organizer, Americans or Australians? I would say the English. <laughs> That's a diplomatic <laughs> answer. 50-50. Yeah. There you go, Peter although, Walsh. Although Aussie, Aussies have a slight, a slight edge. There you go. They know how to slip the shrimp on the bobby, <laughs> don't they? All right. Even Stan, the cameraman behind me, or actually in front of me, he could learn from this. Yes, he could. Anyway, Peter, nice to meet you. My pleasure. And listen, I'd be really careful around Fox. I hear this. They're out to get you. It's just a rumor, but I'd be really careful about that. There's a big crowd forming behind yeah, me. Yeah, okay. All right, Peter, thanks. All the best. Good advice. Thanks, St. Louis.